Hi guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. Um, I'm going to show you today how to make a logo transparent. Um, so if you are a photographer, whether you're just getting started or you've created a new logo, um, you're going to want to make it a transparent file so that you can place it onto an image um, like this without it looking um, like, let me show you. So if I try to place this um, now onto here, let me resize it so we can see what we've got going on. Um, when you normally place your logo, it's going to have this white background around it. This file's huge, that's why I'm resizing. Um, and you probably have noticed that other photographers don't have that. Um, so in order to create a logo that is just the text or the font only without that white box around it, you have to make it transparent. So let me delete that out, go back to the logo. So in order to do this, um, what you're gonna do is um, a couple steps. So your, your background layer, by default is a locked layer. So to unlock it, if you double click where it says background, just double click that, and this comes up, just hit okay. That is now its own unlocked layer. So um, from here, you want to make a second layer. Um, so down here in the bottom, um, that second icon over, I cannot click it because I'm um, doing a screenshot right now, so I'm going to have to go the old school way to add a new layer, new layer like this. Um, but normally, like I said, down here under my little pause button, um, the second one from the right, that is where you'll create a new layer. Um, so when this layer comes up, you're going to see how it's, if you look closely, it's white and gray checkered, the layer thumbnail. Um, that means it's a transparent layer. So it's see-through, there's nothing there. Um, so what you want to do is you want to drag that layer below your other layer, the logo layer. Um, you can rename these if you want. So we'll say logo and um, let's just do background. Okay, so now click back on the logo layer and from here you want to select all of the white background and um, erase it or delete it out. So the quickest way to do that is to select the quick selection tool. It's the fourth one down and it is hiding right now behind the, the selection tool. So, um, sorry, not the quick selection, the magic wand tool. So click on the magic wand. Um, if you just click in the background, you're going to see it selects everything except the inside areas. So now that it's selected, I'm just gonna hit the delete um, on my keyboard or you could right click and, um, well, no, you can't. Yeah, you can, I don't know. I always thought you could delete it out, I lied. Um, so you right click and hit delete. And then from here, you can see all of that is now transparent. So it's showing through to this background layer, but the inside of my letters are not. So I'm going to select those. I'm just clicking in these areas like this um, and I'm gonna hit delete on my keyboard. So I'm deleting all of these out. And there's one. And here. And let me zoom in because I feel like this little spot right here, yep, you wanna get everything. You don't want those white spots to show up when you put this onto your photo. Um, so now, probably the most important thing um, that we get comments on are, you know, I did all this, but I don't understand it's still putting a white box on there. Um, the problem is that when you save it, you have to save it as a PNG file. That will save um, the transparency so it doesn't flatten it and add that white background again. So I'm gonna go to File, Save As. Um, let's select from the list. You're gonna see here PNG, Final Logo Tutorial. Tutorial, geez. Um, and make sure PNG is selected. Hit save. Um, you're going to have this little box that's going to pop up. Um, 
and just keep it by default what it's selected hit OK and now you will have um, your transparent logo so if I go back to this picture I'm gonna go to file place embedded you always want to do place embedded not place linked if you do place linked then if you try to open that photo another time um, if it can't find that original that original file it's not gonna be able to open it so place embedded um, we did where are we at here final logo tutorial if you hover over it you can see item type it says PNG so click on that hit place um, and now we have this nice and transparent um, and there we go again I'm trying to move it there we go uh, so in the next tutorial um, I'm gonna show you a couple other things um, I'm going to show you how you can change the color of this. So you could simply just click on each letter and change the color. Um, but the easiest way to do this is to create a brush that has your logo. So from there on, um, you'll be able to, from your list, you can, let me make it larger so you can see what I'm doing. Come on. Let's do um, white so you can see this. You can see my brush is now, I can click it wherever I want and look how much easier it is. Um, I can change the color. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create one of those brushes that will allow you to change the size, the color, and all of that of your logo. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks Check for watching this video. Tutorial. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.